And he forgot. Shh, darling. Trust me. God sake. It's really no, I can't watch this. Let's go, guys. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to the latest edition of Transylvanian Girlfriend Reacts. I waved too early. It's fine. It's fine. Hello. Outtakes, whatever. We'll just keep them in. We just go. We're on the fly here. You know what I mean? That's just live. It's live. It's well, live. It feels like it's live. Live is live. Live for us, not so much live for the audience. But you have to see that. But we're recording it live, kind of. It becomes um, a. It it becomes confusing. Anyway, we're here. <laughs> we're here and we are watching Misery. So Misery is, like Stand By Me, is adapted from a Stephen King novel. And like Stand By Me, it's directed by Rob Reiner. So it's good company there. You loved Stand By Me. I did. I did. Albeit this is a very different film, but also a brilliant film, I would say, in my opinion. But a very different film. Very different film, <laughs> very different or movie, very different movie. <laughs> you cannot Irish pronounce movie. Like, how would you pronounce movie? Movie. No, movie. no it's just the same. Yeah, movie. movie. Yeah, yeah, it's not a little different there. We no yeah. longer call them talkies. Why don't we call them talkies mm. anymore? <laughs> I'm in a whole other era. Um, just go for film. Film. Yeah, okay. that's go with film. Um, so um. what? Um, I guess I'll just say, what are you kind of expecting for this one? And what do you know? I'm expecting a lot of misery. Because the film is called Misery. <laughs> no, I know it's a... I, you told me it's a bit of a psychological thriller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so Kathy Bates in it. I love Kathy Bates. She's brilliant. I've seen her in a bunch of movies. Um, and um, James Caan is in it as well. He's yeah. in uh, The Godfather. Right, um, which I haven't seen yet. Yeah, a great film. Um, so I'm sure on our list some at some point. <coughs> well, I've um, actually I've actually already watched it. Yeah, but you haven't watched it with me. Yeah, that's true. Well, I'll definitely introduce <laughs> you to it. Definitely introduce it. I'm yeah, not okay. sure if we will do it on the channel. Maybe oh, we yeah, will no, see because right, right. they already watched it yeah. on the channel. So. Well, you know, I heard that technically it's also possible to watch things not on the channel. That's what I. So well, that's <laughs> what I if you had listened to me, see, if she'd listened, I did say, and you can check this. I did say, oh, I'll definitely introduce you to it. Um, yeah, you're right. But, uh, yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, psychological thriller, Caddy Bates, James Caan. Uh, I'm not going to say much else. I just want to kind of just throw you into it, and then, obviously, at the end, we'll get your verdict. But I know that you were saying, like, because we watched Reindeer Baby. Yes. Uh, the other day, and you were saying that you were seeing some parallels or some yes, commonalities. Yes, if, if anyone uh, has seen that on Netflix. Um, Brilliant. Yeah, very, 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 very good. Very series. Um, yeah. Basically, the, 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 the male, male, the lead female character, uh, I could see elements of uh, Caddy Bates' character in Misery in her. You can, if any of you have seen it, and you just let me know in the comments if you kind of thought that yourselves. I thought that was a a little bit of parallels well, I, will, I will i will definitely say it, it in the well. outro yeah, you know definitely. like so yeah but i look forward to it yeah uh with that we will watch misery miserably <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna keep that in what was the fictional name for the town in stand by me castle rock yeah was i was it? living in a small town in oregon named castle rock oh. nervous <laughs> take a gold here drink <laughs> Is that the guy that was also in The Godfather? Yeah, the that's James Ken. That's James Ken. Like almost every single Stephen King uh, story, there is a writer. There. Untitled. I have a couple of plays that are untitled. That I'm working on. Right? I have a trilogy of conversational plays. Conversations in the apartment, conversations in the graveyard, and conversations in the, in the park. <laughs> I think when you look at how snow it is probably always like that. Mm. Most people that live in these areas actually are pretty good at driving in snow. Also, you have to be careful when you hit the brakes and uh, yeah, like that's, that. Yeah, it can actually make it worse sometimes. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. End of movie. <laughs> good <enough. laughs> Oh, thank you for the movie. Shall we go out? <laughs> First printing for Misery's Child was the most ever. Over a million. Mm. Gosh. And if I hadn't gotten rid of it now, I'd have ended up writing it forever. No. I 
I'm your number one fan. It looks like it looked like a hospital thing. Mm. But We're it just isn't. outside still. My name is Annie Wilkes. I'm number one fan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Called Novel. They're for your pain. Are they actually for his pain? Will I be able to walk? Can you to walk? She will. And your mm -hmm. arm will be fine too. It was the work I did on those legs. Considering what I had around the house, I don't think there's a doctor who could have done any better. I could hear the bones moving, so it's oh, look, the best a little blood heart. To in the meantime, you've got a lot of recovering to do. And I consider it an honor that you'll do it in my home. It's like, what? I think he's louder with the piano. Yeah, that's injury. what I mean. Probably. If you need a good fishing guide, you could do a lot worse. <laughs> Call me Buster. Everybody does. But uh, I think one of my clients, Paul Sheldon, might be in some kind of trouble. Well, you think he might be missing, huh? <sighs> I hate that I made this call. Nothing's been reported out here, but I'll put his name through our system. If anything turns up, I'll call you right back. Oh, I'd appreciate that. Thanks a lot. We got a phone call. Busy morning. <laughs> yeah, work, work, work. In a way, I was following you. You were following me. Well, it wasn't any secret to me. You were staying at the Silver Creek. Look up at the light in your cabin, and I try to imagine what was going on in the room of the world's greatest writer, the misery novels. I know them all by heart. All eight of them. I love them so. Do you have any love like that for any certain book series? Um, not book series. Mm -hmm. Sure, I love mm -hmm. the Harry Potter series, for example. Once the roads are open, the phone lines will be up in no time. If you give me their numbers, I'll keep trying them for you. It's a new Paul Sheldon book, and I wondered if maybe... You want to read it? Only my editor, my agent, and anybody that saves me from freezing to death in a car wreck. never realize what a rare treat you've given me. What's it about? I don't know. What's your take on her so far? Just don't want you to see so far. So far she looks nice. Is, is he not able to eat his own soup? I think he can with his arm. Oh yeah, his arm. Yeah, because it's good. Yeah, the profanity bothers you. It has no nobility. These are slum kids. I was a slum kid. Everybody talks like that. They do not? I think I say when I go to the feed store in town, oh, now, Wally, give me a bag of that effing pig feed and 10 pounds of that bitchly cow corn. I tell Mrs. Bollinger, oh, here's one big bastard of a check. Give me some of your Christing money. Mm -hmm. There, see what you made me do? Ooh, ooh. First bit of crazy coming out. <laughs> so worked up. Can you ever forgive me? He's like, I'm scared of you. And I'm here alone. I love with you. you, Paul. Oh, God. <laughs> your mind. Your creativity. That's, <laughs> that's all I meant. Ah, okay. Oh. oh. Virginia, Carr, you're not my wife. You're my deputy. Well, his deputy would rather be home under the covers with the sheriff. <laughs> the car is actually there somewhere isn't it oh god he's gone a little further if he hadn't fallen through he might have gone on a little further yeah. you really think sheldon's out there i hope not if he is he's dead that's her isn't it driving past yep she didn't even say oh officer i have paul sheldon in my well, place of course not he... look what i got they had it at the store, Paul. There was a whole batch of them there. And as soon as I saw it, I slammed my money down. And I talked to the head orthopedic surgeon. And I told him who you were and what had happened. As long as there's no infection, you're not in any danger. What a poet you are. Even the way she kind of praises him, like, I I'm sure she means it, but it feels like it's... it's creepy. It's it, she worships him almost, you know, it's well, weird. What do you mean, almost? Yeah. 
It's not just great, it's perfect. His latest book. Yeah, the misery one. Not the one he was writing. Yeah, yeah, I know. Not published, but the yeah. misery one is like that's the, that's the last one, one right? Yeah. Sorry, dying or yeah, whatever. Yeah, he killed Timur. He's Asian. She just said, "You go yeah. kill her off." And she doesn't know that yet, so she's gonna get. She's to in that the middle. Part. Paul, say hello to my favorite beast in the whole world. My Sal, oh, misery. God, so... It's called misery. I'm starting to believe you. <laughs> this farm hey. on page three hundred now, Paul, and it's better than perfect. It's divine. Oh, dear Lord. What's... The Sistine Chapel. Yeah. That and Misery's Child. Those are the only two divine things ever in... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's definitely he's freaked like, out by her. I prefer that to screaming about me writing curse words Obviously. in my play. Yeah. When my husband left me, I wasn't prepared. For a while, I thought I might go crazy. Discovered misery. Mm. She made me so happy. She made me forget all my problems. Come with books and films and movies. You do use escapism, you know. Um. Done? Yeah. No problem. Boils down to respect. <laughs> People just don't respect the institution of marriage anymore. I'd love to stay here and chat, but I'm right at the end, and I gotta find out what happens. Uh oh. She's not going to love what happens. <laughs> Torture. She wouldn't like it. You dirty bird. Misery Chastain cannot be dead. But her spirit is the important thing, and Misery's spirit is still alive. I don't want her spirit! I want her! You murdered her! No! I didn't. You did it! You did it! You did it! You murdered my But you're not good. You're just another lying old dirty birdie. And don't even think about anybody coming for you. Not the doctors. Not your agent. Because I never called them. And you better hope nothing happens to me. Because if I die, you die. I mean, you thought she'd be unhappy. I didn't think she should be that unhappy. Oh, no, she... I did. Oh, I absolutely <laughs> anticipated it. And he's like, how the fuck? I love the way she says, like, and you here? murder her. It's like, yeah. it's a story. They're not real. It's going to be like, okay, how am I going to get out of this bed? Mm -hmm. Is he gonna get out of this house? Is he gonna get out of this house? Is he gonna die? Is she gonna That's anything. Oh no, 100%. Oh. Yeah. She locked him in the chair. <sighs> Shit. Thank you. According to the check on Sheldon's credit charges, there's nothing after the Silver Creek. You would just assume he was dead. Think it from their point of view, you know? You poor dear thing. Only take a few seconds. Oh, oh, I see it, Daisy. She's oh, she's got a whole oh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thing oh, going on, doesn't she? Cry, baby. Oh. Oh. She asks him to change the story, mm. doesn't she? Waiting for the surprise. She's asking him to change the story. My thinking is a little muddy. I accept that. That's why I couldn't remember all the things they were asking me on the witness stand in Denver. But this time I thought clearly. I asked God about you. You may show him the way. Uh huh. Show him the way. Yes. Was it pre Xerox? When I mentioned the snack, I was thinking more along the lines of uh, cheese and crackers kind of thing. <laughs> you want me to burn my book? I know this may be difficult for you. First book, and you didn't make a copy because you didn't think anybody would take it seriously. But they did. And ever since, you've never made any copies because you're superstitious. Always come back to the Silver Creek Lodge. You told that story to Merv Griffin 11 years ago. Obsessed much? Right Can't you see it's what God wants? If you're so brilliant, I would think you'd certainly be able to see that. Please. Help me help you.
Come on, that's the, the book is the least of your problems now. I know, but it's just you've written a whole no, script, I guess. all that work you've written, and he actually was he was actually kind of proud of that. It seems. Salvation just flying away. They chose Kevin. They chose Kevin. That's a hell of a mullet. That's a hell of a mullet. Full, like, that's okay. more than two liters of coke. Look at the size of that bottle. Set what up? That's She's gotta make him write another new misery studio. book. After all, writers do need a place to work. What in the world do you think I'd write? Oh, but Paul, I don't think. I know. Misery's return. <laughs> Misery's return? It'll be a book in my honor for saving your life and nursing you back to health. At least you won't be bored now. <laughs> True. Oh, yeah. I guess you don't get bothered by neighbors much. Don't you worry about that. You'll... I got you this expensive paper to type on. Him. There is just one little thing. Uh, She's I can't reason. work on this paper. See, it's graspable bond and it smudges. Oh, it does smudge after all. Isn't that fascinating? Clever. Thank you for thinking of me. Yeah. Well. Let's see if she believes him and how far. Annie, what, what's the matter? What's the matter? I do everything to try and make you happy. I feed you, I clean you, I dress you, and what thanks do I get? Oh, you bought the wrong paper, Annie. Better start showing me a little more appreciation around here, Mr. Man. <gasps> I guess he just saw an uh, opening to, you, to get her out of the house. Oh, all to get that get pin. To that. <laughs> so all of that was just to get that pin. God. <laughs> You're already getting tenser now. Come on, do it. Let's not do it. Come on, do it. What a surprise. Just get somewhere where. Should we find another phone. opening? No, phone. Mm. There you go. It's just literally what you were saying. It's not connected. Mm. <sighs> I love those phones, those Rory phones so much. I got to use them on the plane. I loved it. I got to out of the store. Isn't someone a bit surprised that she has bought the paper or something like that? While the writer is missing? I don't know. Mm. Small towns like that. Uh oh. <gasps> oh no, he put it on back the wrong way. Yeah. Shit. That was the misery collection. Her shrine to Paul Sheldon, isn't it? How is he going to, like, even if he makes it out, how is he going to. Maneuver in the snow. Yeah. I guess he could just call out, like, I just. Why does he keep uh, stealing those? No, well, she's been giving them to him. Yeah, I'd probably wait until the next day to make more progress. I mean, of course he's thinking, okay, I have an opportunity now. <laughs> Good things about the character. Oh no, he's hoping that he's getting out of there. Hmm. It's the back door, I am I hate this movie, it's too exciting. <laughs> too exciting? Yeah. She was stressful, I don't want to know, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the magic of it. Magic? I'm sure the way she walks. Oh, you know, it's, the yeah. trudge, it's the trudging walk of her life. Yeah. Just... Oh, I've got your paper. I hope it's enough. No, 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 no. The tablets are sticking out. Just the kind you ask for. Damn well what I've been doing. I've been sitting here suffering. I need my pills. Did well there, didn't he? 
very good. If he gets out of there, he's gonna write a really good mm. book about that. Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. The presumption must now be that Paul Sheldon is dead. It's like, wait a second. You don't think he's dead, do you? Well, he might well be, but not the way they say. You see the dents on the door there. Someone pulled him out. Mm. Clever, Clever man. Mm. I think he's trying to get her. What are you saying? Is he, is he trying to poison her? Like, put it in her drink or something? Imagine like you're being forced to write a story and then write a story where bringing a character back and he's not even, I don't think he's even keen on these misery stories, he's sick of them, you know. You are probably creatively that stimulating for him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, so... What? You'll have to do it over again. What? It's not worthy of you. But maybe we're being a little hasty here. Paul, what you've written just isn't fair. When I was growing up in Bakersfield, my favorite thing in all the world was to go to the movies on Saturday afternoons for the chapter plays. My favorite was Rocket Man. And once it was a no-breaks chapter, and the bad guy stuck him in a car on a mountain road and knocked him out and welded the door shut and tore out the brakes. And he woke up and tried to steer and tried to get out, but the car went off a cliff before he could escape. And it crashed and burned. And the next week, you better believe I was first in line. And they always start with the end of the last week. He jumped free, and all the kids cheered. But I didn't cheer. This isn't fair! He didn't get out of the cock a duty car! Bloody hell, she gets invested in those stories, doesn't she? Misery was buried in the ground at the end, Paul. So you'll have to start there. <laughs> I wrote the very first book that Misery had to be born of nobility. And I was right. Yeah. A hint? Mm -hmm. Oh! Misery's alive! Misery's alive! I'm gonna put on my Liberace records. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have dinner with me tonight to celebrate Misery's return? Oh, Paul. It would be an honor. I You're figured gonna that if I can't find Paul Sheldon, at least I can find out what he wrote about. You expect to find a story about a guy who drove his car off a cliff in a snowstorm? Just that kind of sarcasm that's given our marriage real spice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's when he tries to put the stuff into her. Let's do this right. Do you have any candles? I... I think so. I'll go... go. And I was wondering how he's gonna get rid of her. Like maybe he needs a wheelchair. I just picked things up over the years. Uh, well, certainly says you. Oh, Paul, I get goosebumps every time I think about it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh my God. I ruined your beautiful toast. <laughs> you definitely did. You definitely did. You ever... What do you think would happen? Like. You'd pass out, definitely. No, so much no, that's not what I mean. What do, mean. what do you think would happen if he freaked out? Like, he really became super aggressive on her. Well, oh, he like was, mentally, like just verbally. Yeah, like if he, if he like freaked verbally out Verbally like attacked her, like, yeah. Yeah, like, with, with uh, that, like, Maybe, you know. yeah. Reverse psychology kind of thing. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah, because... Yeah, because if he had broken legs and she, if she had mended them properly, he should be able to walk again, shouldn't he? What's going on with her? Annie, what is it? Sometimes it gives me the blues. You'll never know the fear of losing someone like you, if you're someone like me. Why would you lose me? The book's almost finished. Your legs are getting better. See, I'd really push and go, ideas, I'd love it here, Annie. I'd really try and play that up. Sometimes I think about using it. I might put bullets in it. Please don't tell me she's shooting the pig. Okay, I'll just put your needs in that. The, nothing happens to the pig. Good, thank you. Okay, okay I'll just give you a I'm kind show of you like, a bone. I'm the pig. Just in case people aren't reading me, she's a little stressed. Horror is not her forte. No. Um, is the justice higher than that of man? 
I will be judged by him. We're hauling misery into court. That's nice. Also, <laughs> who the hell calls a character Misery? Definitely a better hell, like. Like Carol Wilkes, plus it Carol Wilkes. She's Annie Wilkes at her apartment. Yeah. Well, there's a different Annie Wilkes, the head intensive care unit. Uh huh. Baby Lucy dies after five weeks struggling uh -oh. in the hospital. Don't tell me she's been killing babies. Dragon lady arrested in recent baby deaths. Remember, she was questioned. Remember, understand? Yeah. She said that. Like eyes almost, right? No. Now she's gonna go upstairs. Yep, Good told ya. Here we go. Oh no, no, no. It's still dark and he's sleeping. Oh no, 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 no. He's gonna be there. She's there. Yeah, of course she's there. It's clear that she's gonna be there. <gasps> Oh, he's off it now. But I'm having such a wonderful time, and I have no other... Paul. Oh. What? You've been out of your room. How? The little ceramic penguin in the study always faces oh. due south. He says that would come back from you mentioned that. Is this what you're looking for? Uh. First, I couldn't figure out how you did it. But last night, I found your key. Last night, it came so clear. I realize you just need more time. How about the early days at the Kimberly Diamond Mines? Do you know what they did to the native workers who stole diamonds? They didn't kill them. That would be like junking a Mercedes just because it had a broken spring. The operation was called hobbling. Is she going to cut off his legs? Oh, no, quite no. What is she going to do? Whatever you think I'm not doing, please don't do it. <laughs> And he forgot. God sake! It's really no, I can't watch this. I can't watch this. They don't show it here. They don't show it. What a nurse she is. God, I love you. Jesus Christ. You wanna? What? In the book, do you know what she does? What does she do? She cuts his foot off. I see the green line. Oh, look, he's reading it. And he's remembering. From the book. Hi, Pumpkin! What'd she call him? <laughs> Pumpkin. Do you have any new Paul Sheldon books? Well, we had a batch. Sold them all out in three days. No, if Miss Wilkes bought one of them, would you? Are you kidding? Time that fella writes a new book, set aside the first copy. Has she been uh, buying anything odd lately? Lest you call paper odd. Newspaper? No. Typing cut. Nothing odd about that. Ms. Wilkes done something? Not a thing. The thing is, he's old. Mm -hmm. So, like, even if he gets to her and she is, will he be able to overpower her? Mm. Or will she just shoot him? Clever detective. He is clever, but he also didn't tell anyone where he's going. Yeah. Ah! Break your legs. Continue to fight me. When are we going to develop a sense of trust? Oh my. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you, but. You didn't give me a chance to knock. Forty-five. For quite some time now, and I, I know, it's what so you upsetting. About 53? I'm his number one fan. More I like fifty-five. Take a look around. Of course not. That accident almost killed me too. When I was praying, God told me to get ready. Get ready for what? To be his replacement. He gave so much pleasure to so many people. There's a shortage of pleasure on the planet these days. <laughs> That was kind of weird, I don't know. She looked back a second time. There she is, psycho. To the stars. Here you are. Oh, thanks, Miss Wilkes, but 
I don't want to take up any more of your time. I'd best be going. But you didn't even taste your cocoa. Well, I'm sure it's wonderful. But... Oh, are you all right? I'm just gonna knock him out. Oh, the shoe fell. Mr. Sheldon? Yeah. It was bound to happen sooner or later. It's a sign. I put two bullets in my gun. One for you and one for me. How romantic. Oh, darling, it'll be so beautiful. <laughs> I love you too. I know we must die. It must be. So that misery can live. We must finish the book. Clever. Give him a little extra time, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I'll fix you something to eat. Wheelchair. I just said Buster died. I really like Buster. The the cop. Eat a cigarette because you used to smoke, but you quit. Except when you finish a book, and you have just one matches to light it, and you need one glass of champagne. Dom Perignon. She didn't learn French either. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Dom Perignon. Dom Perignon. <laughs> the composer is also not called Chopin. <laughs> <laughs> This is so romantic. Ian and Winthorne dueling for the right to Misery's hand. Does Ian win? Odo, tell me. Winthorne, right? You'll know everything in a minute. Get the champagne. This time we'll need two glasses. Oh, Paul. Remember how for all those years nobody knew who Misery's real father was? They'd ever be reunited? It's all right here. Does she finally marry Ian? It's all right here. Paul, you can't! I learned it from you. Dead right, didn't we? No, 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 Misery! I do not like Misery! <laughs> That's what he was going to do in the first place. Come on, you have the right of to just set her on fire for fuck's sake. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Yeah, oh yeah. That's two bullets gone. God! He's... He's... Oh, he's her. finally... Finally! <laughs> Lucky. I do love that line. Edith and the Chalky, sick, twisted fuck. <laughs> oh god, now is she gonna wake up again? It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, a shattered nose. Oh well, yeah, because she probably like ran mm. into the brain. <laughs> Said it's the not, the um... end of a great love story. Or Wait, how did he make it out of the house? Yeah. Eighteen months later. Yeah, but how did he make it out okay. of the? probably came looking for the cop as well. Very first copy. Saves and don't laugh. But for the first time, I think you've got a shot at some prizes. I wrote it for me. I don't think I'm completely nuts, but in some way, Annie Wilkes. Help me. How would you feel about a non-fiction book? About what went on in that house? To know you better, I think you were suggesting I dredge up the worst horror of my life just so we could make a few bucks. <laughs> I thought you were over. What? I don't know if anyone could ever totally get over something like that. Oh no, he's imagining her face also. No, I know she's dead. Are you Paul Sheldon? Yes. I just want to tell you I'm your number one fan. That's very sweet of you. That's like a perfect. <laughs> I'm actually a bit upset that the sheriff died. I am as well. Like definitely, yeah, I really like him. Like the, the sheriff yeah. shouldn't have died. Yeah. Okay. Um... <laughs> I'm 
your number one fan. I was going to say, I was going to say, you might have left the room, uh, gone, fled, you know. Um, Getting some red pills, a few injections, a gun, you know. And, and a pig, a new pig. A pig, yeah, yeah, misery. Pig, yeah, yeah. Well, we, we have a brown lab, does that count for a pig? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, misery. Um, I could tell from watch, obviously, you were, you found it tense, quite tense. God, way too tense for me. Um... <laughs> Yeah, no, it is, especially when he's when she leaves the house and he's kind of wandering around. You do feel really tense for him. Yeah, and also, like, you know. I mean, like, I was always afraid that, like, not even, like, if she had killed him, okay, she would have killed him, you know. Mm. Would have been bad. Mm. But, like, I was literally afraid that she would just injure him, which she actually did in that one scene. Mm, with, the, you know? with the sledgehammer. Yeah, yeah that's, so. That's an infamous scene. That scene is infamous. God. Um, yeah. Uh, you know she won Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for that. I actually should show you the video of her winning it because it's so cool to see. How is she a supporting actress? She's kind of like the main character, well, isn't she? He's the he's she's but second she to him. Use... But yeah, best but, but yeah, you're true. Best leading um. She should be a leading uh, in a lead actress. Yeah, yeah, maybe it was like, leading. It was only two yeah, characters. Really. They then... were both the leads. They were co-leads. Yeah, they were co-leads, co-leads. co-leads. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, like support like. The guy who played the sheriff, he would have been a supporting character. The, the, he the would have agent, been, yeah, yeah, yeah. His wife and yeah. then the agent, they were just... Yeah. Honest, like, there's the two of them. There's the, the sheriff, his wife, and the agent. Like, they're the only five that have a prominent screen time, I would say. Everyone else is just in one scene or something. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, oh. uh, no, but she definitely deserved yeah. it. Like, that was a brilliant performance. Oh, it was unreal, wasn't it? Yeah, she's so creepy. Like Yeah, yeah, but also, like, the way that she kind of presented the mood swings. Mm. Oh, yes, yeah. You know, definitely. like, you would think that everything's fine, you know, and mm. then all of a sudden she just freaks out, yeah. you know, and then she... The she's... looks she would give as well, like, yeah. you know. Mm. And even at times it was kind of cringy. Do you know, like, when she'd be like, I love you, Paul. Yeah. And there's kind of that awkward silence, and then... I mean, your creativity, your writing, you know, it just, it's like, uh, <laughs> you just feel that, like, it's almost like one of those uh, comedies yeah. with cringe humor. Yeah, yeah, almost. I know. You're, that you're, kind of feel. Your hot 45-year-old body. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Especially after the crash, you know. Um, yeah, no. But, um, yeah, no, but it was, yeah, she did a brilliant performance. It was really, really good. The whole dynamic between the two of them mm, was actually really good. It was good. really good. It really it was. It was really good because, like, it, it did also have a, a little bit of Stockholm Syndrome into it mm. because, like, you could see that there was some some sort of a relationship developing in, in terms of, mm. um, you know, like, obviously not an actual relationship, like, <clears throat> between two regular people, but they had their interactions yeah like you know and it, it's kind of like so that's why like you need kind of a chemistry for those and, and it's, i sometimes like like uh i think a play was made of this and you understand why because it's primarily set in a house in, in a house room. yeah yeah. Uh, it's not, i sometimes like that that kind of single setting i know they did a couple of other locations they bounced to, but that's, for the most part 80 percent of the film was in that one you house. see and that's the thing that freaked me out the most mm. with this movie it was it was too no the the thing that it's like there was no an release you know like it was an yeah. entrapment there was no release um because you were asking me like why you you also watch reindeer baby like that was mm-hmm. a bit tense at times why is there so much tenser well because he cannot escape you know he's well no it wasn't it wasn't i wasn't questioning you finding it tense i was just saying that you had watched reindeer baby as well and and you but you still enjoyed it, like so. I was kind of saying, like, yo, there's still there's uh, nobility, or not a little bit. There's um, yeah, nobility, not nobility. What's the word I'm looking for? There's a uh, God, I've kind of lost the ability. mobility. What oh, are you looking for? I don't know for? what I'm looking for, but there was flexibility. No, there was like um, uh, tenseness. Good. There was goodness. <laughs> there was goodness. You're looking for the word goodness. No, I was looking for a different word. It wouldn't come to me. But um, uh, it added to the, the quality of the story, you know, as well, like it did in in um. What added Ranger to the Raven. quality? The tension of the... and that the build. The tension, okay. But no, I get what you're saying. That's a fair point because it's primarily in the house. There is no you're, release. You're surrounded by that tension. Yeah, and normally, like yeah. you know, when you have like an exciting movie or whatever, I mean, 
you there's always like you know Multiple the off locations. scenes where you're just like okay you know they're at the beach now it's everything you can relax fine. for a minute you can relax for a minute and in this thing you're like yeah. i guess like it's the kind whole of like, time it's kind of like jaws where like you're not in the ocean okay you can relax <laughs> yeah exactly you know but you have that in a lot of movies yeah. and this one was just like there the whole time and i was like oh my god the, we're only like i don't know 45 minutes into the movie what the hell is gonna perspire here you know like what is she gonna do to him you know like what 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 weird like how much is she gonna injure him mm. and 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 like it's I, I was honestly i was like oh god very well received film yeah. they did really well well and it's a brilliant film it's really uh, yeah. good stephen king um <laughs> After, because when Rob Reiner directed Stand By Me, Rob, he said, like, when Misery was going to be made as a film, he like, said Rob Reiner his first pick for director because he felt they'd done such a good job with Stand By Me that he was happy when he heard that he was going to be directing Misery as well, like, to direct another one of his stories. Well, as I said, it's, it's I mean, I wouldn't have been so tense if the, you know, if the movie hadn't been so well made. Made, yeah. Oh, no, yeah you know, so clearly yeah. it was it was yeah, a very, very well film. made movie. Yeah. Very, very good acting on, on, as I said, both main characters did really feel, brilliant job. And I, feel, I feel in your head. No, I, I'm glad to hear that, that you did. You obviously... It was tense and you'd find talking. Okay, let's put it like this. I thought it was a great movie. I did not enjoy it. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, you did. okay, but is it different to kind of like, to like, um, like Dracula and that, like you know? Oh well, no, the, but the Dracula was boring. Like yeah. this was a good movie. Yeah. Um, but it, just, uh, it was tense. It was just, it was just tense. I was like, oh god. Do you, you do be kind of thinking that where it's like. I'm I'm feeling what I'm getting what I'm, we haven't said it but I'm, I guess I'll say it. You're kind of like lame, like one every three months when it comes to horror, yeah. like that kind of horror. One every three or four months. Yes. They're going to be in small doses. Yes. At, at least when they're that tense the whole time, you know. Like if yeah. you have a little bit of release every once in a while, now, that's fine. If this does blow up, well, that's not. But if it did, I'm sorry, but you're going to be committed to doing more horror films. <laughs> That's the beauty of my life, you know, like I'm not actually entrapped here. My legs are not broken. I do have a car and a phone and can run. So let's see about that. <laughs> no, but it was a good movie. Yeah. It was definitely very, very, very well. And there's no in the comments. Did you enjoy her like reaction to this horror? You know what I mean? Because I feel like some of the, they are when, when I personally, when I watch reaction video and I see someone who genuinely gets freaked out at moments, I kind of do like that, you know. Um, you like is, is, is it's it fun. A, it's part of the. Is it when you watch it for the first time? Like you, you like know, people actually being scared to death and you know, death, like, it's just kind of like, you know, like oh God, oh, yeah, kind of like that release, you know. Um, well, you, I think you've actually seen also maybe. You know, you, you've actually seen something within this movie that will probably come up in future horror movies. As soon as it gets that tense, I start ridiculing it. There will be that's more your, of that. That's your defense mechanism. That's, that's my coping mechanism, you know, like, <laughs> hey, for look, sure. The, 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 that chair was in, was underneath the table in the last shot. Now it's out. They made a mistake there. <laughs> well, no, not like that. Just like, you know... <laughs> Anyway, oh, we'll like see. when you said Ida, when you said like, yeah, uh, why didn't he put the ladder fluid on her? That's what he should have done. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, that's fair enough. That was a fair point, but you were gonna stick to that then. No, let's get back to that. Let's get back to that. Why did he? <laughs> no, but honestly, why didn't he? That was so obvious. That, uh, well, that's what I thought. But, yeah, it was like maybe, uh, you pour the fluid on her. You know, you, the you 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 hit the you match, know, and there it is. You only think it's that, like if he did that, she might have run at him, and then he could have caught fire as well, possibly. But no, How? it's a fair point. I don't know. But she just jumped at a time to attack him. Yeah, but, but then he wouldn't have had for a liquid, a, a light know, liquid over him. But I will say. But probably anyway. the most satisfying moment in that film is was when when he, he sets fire. To death. To the book. To the book. No, and I Because after what she met him yeah, do. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. And, and the fact that he says, like, you know, people always wondered uh, about her father she never met and would they be reunited and will it be Whitmore or the other guy's name and then um, it's all right here. It's all right here. And he actually wrote it. He knows what happened. She doesn't. 
Oh, I just love that moment. After what she it's, made him it's, do earlier. It's a film. great, it's a great moment. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I agree with that hundred percent. No, no, I, I'm just saying that is a moment I love. In so the film. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but anyway. But anyway, uh, guys, uh, we hope you enjoyed the reaction and. Um, I don't know what we'll be watching next, to be honest. Um, something different. Something different, yeah. That was different again, though. But, like, yeah. Something not as tense. Not as tense. So, back to something like the Goonies a bit. <laughs> yeah. I, I love the Goonies. Don't get me wrong. You can I love give me the, the Terminator for all I care. Oh, yeah, but Terminator like... 2. Yeah, we have to get Terminator 2. <laughs> uh, maybe a bit more Jim Carrey, possibly, yeah. you know, with the mask and Dumb Maybe and Dumber. possibly next time I will pick a movie for Irish Guy to watch, you know. And trust okay, me, would you like that? Okay, we'll put that to them. Would you like, that? if you'd like <laughs> her to pick a film for me, to, I guess they need to know what you've seen that I haven't seen as well. But yeah. There's um, a bunch of things that I have seen that you haven't seen. Okay. Well, we'll start first with, would you be interested in her selecting a film at some uh, at a certain point for me to watch that she's seen? And if he would, we can put a few out and put a poll up. And even if you're not interested, <laughs> you're doing, you're you know, doing it anyway. <laughs> there will be this thing because I will have to sit through these movies, so you will have to sit through mine. Well, I did. I watched uh, Meet the Fockers uh, recently. We watched Mary Poppins. You loved the first part of that. No, I'm not saying it, I'm not saying it was bad. I'm just saying I have watched a few. Like I watched, we watched Mary Poppins. I was gonna watch that for the channel, but with musicals, it's difficult because yeah. uh, music is a whole other thing when it comes to copyright. Oh, well. Anyway, but yeah. we will see. Yeah, we will see. Uh, until next time, guys. Uh, I'm your number one fan. <laughs>